Live, late-breaking, investigative, CBS 5 News. And money problems aren't confined to just average Arizonans. The state budget is in shambles as well. Now, the governor and the legislature are preparing to deal with budget shortfalls in the hundreds of millions and maybe more. But current laws and mandates may leave them a little hand-tied. Tonight, CBS 5's Jeff Butera is live at the Capitol looking at what happened and what can be done. Can you explain this for us, Jeff? Well, uh, Scene, let's start with the problem first, and it really is a balancing act. Arizona decides how much they're going to spend by guessing how much they're going to make. The problem is this year, they guessed wrong on how much they're going to make. They're not going to come close to that, and fixing the difference is not going to be easy. On the Goldwater Institute's website, you'll find their running tote board showing the Arizona state government is spending $888 a second. The state of Arizona spends more money in one minute than the average Arizonan makes in a year. The problem, Arizona's expected revenue this fiscal year, which would have covered that spending, is not living up to expectations, likely creating a budget shortfall between $300 and $800 million. A revenue base is very dependent on big ticket expenditures, and when people aren't buying, those revenues simply don't flow in the coffers. So now Arizona lawmakers have to fill the gap and balance the budget. One problem with balancing the budget, though, 45% of it cannot be cut. Those things are protected by the Constitution or by voters, which is basically like saying, you got to get rid of some of the pie, but you can't touch half of it when you do so. Got to come from the other side. So lawmakers will have to make cuts while not touching protected money for things like school districts, health services, and the prison system. ASU economics professor Dennis Hoffman, though, says they do have to put partisan differences aside and do something. It's my belief that we will certainly weather this storm, uh, but we've got some tough, we've got some tough months ahead. Now, the governor was out of town today. We did want to talk to her about the issue. We were able to ask her spokeswoman, though, was there anything you guys could have uh, done to prevent this? Did you see this coming? She said, obviously, they wish they could have seen it coming and done something about it. But she said, you're not going to find an economist who would have predicted the amount of shortfalls at this level that the state is dealing with right now. The economist we talked to agreed with that assessment. Live at the Capitol, I'm Jeff Butera, CBS 5 News.